hi friends so in today's video we will learn how to use the slicer okay so uh, before using the slicer what we have to do you have to first load the data okay from where you will get uh, from where you will load the data you will use this option get data okay click on that get data option and select excel workbooks as in data source okay so when we click on the excel workbook we have to select the file destination so this is my file okay so basically i have some universities data universities ranking that we will use for creating a dashboard right for understanding how to use this slicer okay so i'll just click on the open for loading the data okay so i have already loaded the data here you can see basically it has one sub sheet okay and in that particular sub sheet we have different columns which are category country index location name rank revenue and undergraduate enrollment okay so for understanding the importance of slicer in power bi okay what we will do we will create some of the uh, visuals basic visuals okay so first we will create the pie chart let's say we are creating pie chart for category versus revenue okay again uh, we will create one more pie chart okay so this pie chart is for category versus undergraduate enrollment okay uh, we will create one column chart for better understanding for the same data okay we will create one bar chart as well for the same data okay now uh, what we will do we will just format this chart so basically for the color of column okay so we will define it by function so we can use this format your visual option go to column select this function okay for the minimum value what you can do you can select this color and for maximum value you can select this one it's look crispy right okay after that again uh, you can select this visuals okay color then for the lowest color we will select this one and for the highest value mm, we will select this one okay so we have created some of the visuals okay these are the q and a so we can delete this one okay now what we will do we will like get two or three cards okay so this one is the first card this is also very useful so basically uh, in this card what we will do the values of this card will be revenue okay so by using format you can select this call out value okay in call out value we have display unit you can select none so you'll get a number there okay and you can make it bold again uh, we will just copy paste the card this time instead of revenue we will select undergraduate enrollment like this okay uh, now we will create one more chart for better understanding the chart will be this one line and stacked column chart okay so this will be our last visual for the data so in this what we will do on x axis we will define countries whatever the countries we have on x axis we will define countries on y axis we will define undergraduate enrollment okay on line chart for line we will define revenue as an attribute okay or uh, like what we will do for column we will give revenue and for line we will give undergraduate enrollment so this look good right again we can format this visual go to column color we can format it by let's see starting from gray to purple click on ok so like this so basically this is our basic dashboard for the given data set right but we have to learn how to use slicer okay now what we will do we will again 
go to this visual option okay so this one is the slicer okay this act as a filter so we will just get this one We will select the slicer option here. Okay, so see, we'll just increase the size for better understanding. So basically, this is our slicer. We can use as much space which is available. Okay, so basically, uh, the first thing for slicer, uh, the option which will we will give is country. Okay, so these are the different countries in our data set. Okay after that we will create one more slicer okay so basically we can format slicer as well okay you can go to this format your visual slicer setting in option uh, you can define the selection uh, you can define the orientation of that particular slicer okay after that in selection you can define whether the selection should be a single value or multiple values so multiple values i have enabled okay slicer header font color that's fine okay after that if you select background color so let's say we are selecting background color as like this then values for the values also we can select background color like this okay uh, let's say uh, we want to create one more slicer for category so we'll just copy paste this visual so basically we have created two slicer first one is for country and second one is for category so instead of country we will select category here now what is the use of this particular slicer so basically see right now the current data is for a complete data set okay so the total revenue of all universities is this much okay total undergraduate enrollments are for all universities is this much okay and these are the different graphs for that particular data set right but let's say we want to see data only for china England China and England okay so what we will do we will select only China and England see the data is changed now okay so basically uh, this is the category wise revenue for China and England this is the category wise uh, undergraduate enrollment undergrad enrollment for only China and England country and these are the different visuals for China and England okay but now let's say uh, we don't want category c and d okay we want only a b and e we'll select only a b and e and according to that the particular data will get changed okay so this is the use of slicer right slicer is uh, we can define slicer as a powerful filter here okay it it act as a filter dynamic filter okay now let's say uh, we want to add uae also as a country in this data so we'll just select uae like this okay let's say we want to add category d as well so according to that the data will change okay let's say we want to create uh, add india as well see the data is changing right let's say we want to as usa so we can give select all option as well okay for giving select all option what we can do you can go to this format your visual slicer setting and sil option go to selection and see enable this one select all so you have one more option select all you can directly select it from here okay similarly for this slicer we can enable select all option we have to just go to here and see select all option is enabled okay so if you like remove select all option that also means that you have selected the complete now let's say uh, we want the data only for china so we we'll click on this one okay so this is the use of slicer i guess you have got how to use slicer right for making your dashboard dynamic so thank you for joining thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe this one it will be very helpful thank you